Hey everyone, thanks so much for coming by today. We're gonna to be checking out the butternut squash salad from Magnolia Cookbook, volume number three, in our journey to go through all of her recipes. So we haven't made a salad yet, but I'm pumped for this one because I love butternut squash, I love spaghetti squash, I love all squash. So we have all of our ingredients right here. Let's get this party started. All right, so our first step is to get our butternut squash ready to go in the oven. So we're gonna chop it, peel it, and well, we're gonna peel it first, then chop it up. So let's get our ends off. I'm gonna cut it in half. Uh, squash is, can be a little tricky to, to work with with a knife because it's so uh, hard. So just be careful when you're when you're doing this with a knife. Penny is right here because whenever they hear this peeler, they are right here waiting. Finally. Okay, let me clean this mess up and then we'll chop it up and get it ready for the oven. Okay, so now that we're all cleaned up, let's chop up our butternut squash and get this into our bowl. So we'll obviously clean out the seeds here. If you're thinking at home, wow, butternut squash is not an easy ingredient to work with. You're right, but it's worth it. Okay, so now let's chop away. She wants these in half inch cubes. Like, when recipes say that, it's like, I don't know, half inch? I'm just gonna go for it. Make them all similar size. And I'm just gonna put these right into our bowl right here. So our butternut squash is all chopped up. Let's add in our olive oil, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. Okay, let's stir it up to make sure it's all evenly coated with that olive oil. And then we are gonna stick this in the oven at 450 for about, let's see, 20 minutes. Whoa, whoa, we got a rogue butternut squash chunk. Okay. So I have our pan right here. So, <clears throat> spread this on here. All right. Spread it out. Throw this in the oven. for 20 minutes. And in the meantime, we'll get ready for our sauce, our, you know, our uh, dressing, as well as our Parmesan crisps. So let me clean this up and we'll get started on those two last things. Okay, so to make our Parm crisp, I have a nonstick skillet ready to go. It's warmed. I have a plate with a paper towel and I have our shredded Parmesan and a tablespoon. So we are going to put a tablespoon, I've never done this before, so bear with me. 
a tablespoon of parm on our nonstick skillet. And we're gonna let this cook for two minutes each side. It's interesting, for sure. And I have my flipper here, so I'll try to make them nice and compact. And then once they're ready to flip, I'll flip them. Okay, not gonna lie, that was pretty cool. I've never made parm crisp before, but that was so easy. I thought it was gonna like spread everywhere. Looks perfect. Couple more minutes. Okay, our crisps are done. I'm gonna throw them onto our plate here. I have a feeling I'm gonna wish we had more of these when we make our, or when we finish our salad. Perfect, all right. We'll let these cool, and in the meantime, let's make our dressing. All right, so while our butternut squash is still roasting in the oven, let's get our dressing ready to go. So we have some olive oil. We have some vinegar. We have, oh, some honey. Okay. We have some mustard. Some Dijon mustard. And then we'll put some lemon juice in here as well. All right. Okay. Done. Now let's whisk this together. And this is gonna go right on top of our butternut squash over some spinach with some raisins and pepitas. Okay. So now we wait for our butternut squash to be ready and then we can put everything together and try this out. Okay, so our butternut squash is done. Let's take it out of the oven. Oh, it's hot. Okay. So we're gonna let this cool for 15 minutes, but the first thing we do before we let that happen is we're gonna toss this with some agave. So, some agave. And let's toss this around. And then we're gonna let this cool for 15 minutes. But let's make sure the agave gets everywhere. I feel like a tablespoon probably isn't enough, but okay it's coated like I know like I've made this before <laughs> okay all right let this cool for 15 minutes and then we'll throw this on top of some spinach along with our dressing and some craisins and some pepitas and then try it out okay so our squash is cooled and now we can combine all of our ingredients so I have our spinach here I am going to add our squash to the bowl <clears throat> and 
not gonna lie, I did try a little piece of the butternut squash and it's very tasty. The agave was a nice little touch. So I'm excited <clears throat> to try the rest of this all toge <clears throat> together. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Okay, so we have our spinach, our butternut, we have some dried cranberries, we have some pepitas. This already looks so pretty, doesn't it? It's a nice little spring salad. And we have our Parmesan crusts. And then our dressing. So let's pour this on top. Gonna mix it all together really very pretty. I'm sure it's going to taste amazing. All right. Let me grab a bowl and we'll try this out. All right, guys, it's time to try our butternut squash salad and it smells so good. So I'm excited to try all these ingredients together. Mm, mm hmm. Yes. Okay, this is really good. I would definitely make this again. Really, really tasty. I love butternut squash and it's roasted perfectly. The flavors of the dressing are so good. It's definitely a different salad. So if you're looking for something traditional, this is not it. But if you're looking for something to spice up your, your dinner or your lunch that you're having, this is the way to go. Super easy to make and the flavors, like I said, are all really good. The one thing I probably would change is to make smaller Parmesan crisps so that I have a little bit more. So I probably would use maybe a teaspoon of the shredded Parmesan and a tablespoon, just so I have more of that crisp around. But otherwise, super tasty. I love it. I'll be making this again. So thanks so much for coming by to watch me make this butternut squash salad. If you make this, I'd love to know what you think about it. And I'll catch you next time. See ya.